That is a power move. Did she call him seaweed brain? What? Oh my God. This is a roller coaster. It is time to watch episode five of the iconic Percy Jackson TV show and I could not be more excited. I'm Sarah, I'm your fangirling bestie and welcome back to my channel. As you know, I'm watching Percy Jackson without reading the books or knowing literally anything about the world and I'm truly having the time of my life. So let's keep the party going with episode five. You have really hyped up episode five in the comment section of my previous reaction video, so I am super pumped for this. And you were not lying about episode four being amazing. It was my favorite episode of season one so far. I loved it so much. So let's see if season five can talk it. Remember that I am now creating merch inspired by the amazing quotes from the Percy Jackson TV show for my shop called We Could Be Heroes Designs and you can check that out at the link in the description below. Be sure to like this video and comment all of your thoughts on episode 5 and subscribe to my channel for all of my Percy Jackson season 1 reaction videos and let's get into episode 5! Oh wow! I was wondering like what on earth are they like how are they gonna cover this up? Oh this is crazy that it's so public. Yeah. Oh my god. So we should probably get out of here, don't you think? Oh my god. What the hell does that mean? Why are they even standing there? People can identify them as the people who were splashing Percy in the fountain. And as the people who were last seen on the stairwell, they can identify her as the one who pulled the fire alarm in the last episode. Why are they standing there just to like throw off suspicion that it was them? I feel like, I feel like it'd be better to go hide. Let's go find Percy. Annabeth. He's alive. Aww. I know it. That's so sweet that Annabeth is like still thinking that Percy's alive. I didn't even, I guess they didn't see it all happen. I was thinking that they knew that he was alive. I was thinking that they knew that he was alive or that they saw the water catch him so they figured he was okay or something. That's so crazy that Grover thinks that Percy's actually dead. Oh my God, that's crazy. And that Annabeth is holding out hope that he's alive. Oh my God. Part of the reason that she's hoping that he's still alive has to be because like she might blame herself that she let Percy like push her out into the stairwell. She might think that it's her fault that he would have died. Oh, that's so crazy. What do the three old knitting ladies mean? Cause that's so creepy. Like Grover said last episode, can't mean anything good. Cause uh. <laughs> Percy! Percy! Oh, the way that they're just yelling for him, hoping he's okay. <laughs> the way that they didn't even know if he was alive and here he is. Hi. 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 <laughs> I knew you'd never agree. And uh, there wasn't she, enough time. Is she gonna fall? He's so shocked. The way that she didn't even hesitate. She just went for it and hugged him. She's hugging him so tight. She was so scared that he actually was gone. The fact that she didn't even say anything and she just ran out to him and just hugged him. Oh my God, that's so sweet. Why does that remind me of in the first episode when Percy gets kicked out of school and then he comes home and he sees Sally Jackson and he's like, I'm sorry, I tried really hard, but this time it really wasn't my fault. And then all Sally does is hug him. I don't know why Annabeth and Sally Jackson, like they kind of remind me of each other in the best way possible. Like they don't take no BS. They are so powerful. They are so badass. If they say to do something, you do it. I love their similarities so much. And I love this scene so much. Did Percy hug her back though? Percy, hug her back. So. <laughs> the way that he put his like head into her shoulder, that was so sweet. We need to go to Santa Monica. What? What, like now? What, like now? <laughs> My father's gonna meet me there. He's gonna help us. I'm so confused. Did he actually like talk to him in the water or did like that mermaid voice tell Percy this? This is so weird. This is so confusing. Percy's acting like so sure of himself now and that's kind of making me nervous. Police think that we crashed an Amtrak train and then did that. That. <laughs> Isn't that gonna make it hard for us to get on a train? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's so sad. They're literally just walking next to the train tracks. They're just like, well, this is what it's come to. <laughs> I said in one of my other reaction videos, I was like, I, if they get in trouble, they're gonna be so easy to identify because it's just like three 12 year olds without a grown up. So like if people start to identify them, they're gonna like know that they can't get tickets for anything. So that's crazy that this is actually happening. I think this quest might be harder than we thought. <laughs> yeah, I think. We don't even know who actually stole the thing. Or why? <laughs> Their faces are like, you're literally just thinking of this now. We've been thinking about this the entire time. Maybe when we started, my head wasn't fully in this, but since the river, it all feels different somehow. Well, 
yeah, Percy never even wanted to go on this quest. His only worry was about saving his mom, and I do not blame him. Like, that was his only focus, and now he's kind of more focused on the quest a little bit. He saved me. Aww. I guess I just really never thought that's something he'd do for me. That's so sad, but so sweet. That's not a car, it's a bike. Just let it pass. Come on. Oh, good. I thought that they were literally just gonna like keep walking on the side of the road. I was like, if someone sees three children walking on the side of the road, they might call someone. Good, I'm glad that they're hiding. <laughs> I think we might need to be detectives here too. Ooh, I like that. I'm not being weird. Yes, you are. You've been weird since we left the arch. Tell me he's not gonna bring up the hug. They hug me? <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. The three fades and I saw Atropus cut a piece of thread. And that's bad or well it looked bad it means one of us is going to die oh we're all gonna die <laughs> aren't you, <Liz? laughs> i was like oh that explains the look that explains the worry that explains it all that's very nerve-wracking yep that's really really stressful and then percy comes in and he's like we're all gonna die eventually <laughs> i love how percy takes literally nothing seriously very relatable how he just tries to use sass and sarcasm and comedy healing the world with comedy that explains so much why annabeth hugged percy a minute ago because she saw the fates like cut the string so she thought percy actually did die for a second and so when she saw them she was like extra shocked so that does make a lot of sense obviously she wanted to hug him because she like was friends with him and was so happy that he was alive but the fates like that was extra stressful for her we old ladies with a ball of yarn can't know what's gonna happen <laughs> i'm sorry do they not hear the motorcycle right behind them need some help <laughs> nope we're good thank you so much nope no we're we're good appreciate you asking though so long so long <laughs> Because you guys are so behind schedule. What? For L, he's magical. Cousin? Cousin. Aries. You must be Athena's kid. Aries? As in Clarice's dad? As in the one who gave her the spear that Percy broke? Oh, that's not good. That's crazy. When was the last time that Clarice saw him? Like, are they seeing him more often than Clarice ever has? That's my cousin. What kind of family is this? A very, very, very messed up one, if you haven't been paying attention. That messed up? No. What wouldn't he do? What? <laughs> Wild, right? Oh my god. The FBI oh is already spreading your picture around. Oh my god. Oh we really my love that god. car. The car. So oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have expressed how much I despise the dirtbag game, but this is a whole new level. I was wondering how they were covering up the demigods disappearing from the human world and going into the camp. I was wondering how demigods cover this up. I guess they don't cover it up. I figured that they like erase people's memories, but I guess they don't and they just like fake their deaths. How did they do this in the books? How did they cover up all the demigods leaving to go to camp? Because like typically if a kid disappears out of a family, maybe one person would notice, especially a young kid who's like in school school all the time so like how do they cover that up or do they just not cover it up because right now it seems like they don't try to even cover it up and that he's blaming Percy for Sally Jackson's death oh my god that fuels me with so much rage I could destroy him I would literally be so heartbroken if I was Percy that he that anyone could ever think that he could hurt her oh my god and that he's fake crying and mentioning the car oh my god you are disgusting i hate him so much Ugh. that gives me so much ick oh, i feel so bad for percy right now not only has he been through so much trauma and lost his mom but now he's getting blamed for it when he probably already blames himself a little bit for it that's so sad i'm gonna kill him i will back you up percy i will back you up shouldn't you be out there looking for it? yeah seriously mm. No fear in you, is there? Nope. <laughs> I love that head shake. She's like, nope, not at all. None. Bad thing. You do not want to test me because I will fight, bro. I love Annabeth. The Oracle said if we returned the bolt, there wouldn't be a war. Is that what she said? Or is that what Chiron said she meant? Oh. See, I don't trust Chiron yet. He is kind of mysterious. I don't know if I trust any, because I hate Mr. D at the camp. So I don't know if I trust anybody at the camp yet. We're completing this quest. Yes, Percy. We're stopping this war. Yes, Percy. You said you can help. Can you? Or are you just wasting our time? There's an amusement park up the road. I left my shield there. 
How did he leave his shield at an amusement park? Like, we got on the merry-go-round? <laughs> I love her. Okay. Oh. But it is getting old. <laughs> Literally, Annabeth's facial expressions, her acting, man. She's so amazing. Literally, just like the eyebrow twitch. I love it so much. I love that for a second, she he like leaned forward and she like leaned back a little bit, just like putting on her guard a little bit. But she is not scared of him. So I'm going to keep the satyr here as collateral so you don't... No. What? No. What? Okay. What? Grover. No way. If you wanted to kill us, we'd be dead by now. That's kind of true what's grover's angle here is he just willing to sacrifice himself for them to go get this shield or is he planning something because he said okay that's fine really quickly maybe he just trusts percy and annabeth to go get the shield and he just trusts them so well don't engage with them he want to get you riled up get in your head and you can't Aww. let him it's okay really I love how worried they are about him. I love their friendship. I love how they're so protective of him. They're so protective of each other and I love it. Oh, that's not creepy at all. I haven't seen a lot of horror movies, but this seems like exactly <laughs> the kind of place they suggest to avoid. That's what I was literally thinking. It seems like the kind of place that they'd suggest to avoid. <laughs> that's so funny. That's literally exactly what I was thinking. Like this seems like where you would film a horror movie. <laughs> I'll just take your word for it. She's never seen any movie? Neither of us is dead in a few days. We really ought to fix that. You're missing out. Okay, was he just, was he just, was he just trying to ask her out? No, okay. So half of me for a split second was like, was he just shooting a shot? Was he trying to ask her out on a date? Then I realized that Percy is probably so clueless and literally he probably just meant like, let's watch a movie. Let's watch Megamind or something. <laughs> like, let's watch like Disney movies or something. That's probably what he meant. Either way though, that's very cute that they're gonna have like a movie marathon. That's adorable. Wait, Percy, stop. You said that a little late. What is that? Is that about to fall on him? Annabeth, what is happening? If you're a monster or demigod. It'll kill you? I feel like we can talk about this later. I feel like we should figure out how to... I want a Festus build an amusement park. Maybe he finds them amusing? That's really not funny, Annabeth. <laughs> I love how she tried to make a joke to make him feel less scared and better. Oh my god, that's so sweet. She literally tried to use sass and sarcasm like he does and use comedy to make it and make the situation lighter and more funny. That's so funny that she tried to do what he always does. That's so sweet. That's cool. Annabeth, just relax. I'm on it. I love her acting. I love that you can actually see in her eyes like her thought process and like the wheels spinning behind her head. How she's thinking about how this works. So brilliant. I get this. Okay, there's a lot riding on this, Annabeth. You better be right. Bush? What? Yep. Because weren't you the one this morning who saw the fates say one of us is going to die and we should take it really seriously? Percy? <laughs> weren't you the one that this morning was saying that one of us was going to die and that we should take it really, really seriously? <laughs> it's funny. The machine isn't designed to hurt so us. It's, just... it's meant to scare us. To test. So what would have happened if you didn't figure it out? You would have just like been stuck there forever. Satyrs are children of nature. Nature is brutal. I respect it. He does not. This is so confusing. What is Grover's angle here? They've showed how much he respects nature throughout the last few episodes. So he's totally playing Aries, but like why? What's he trying to get out of him? Or what's he trying to get him to do? So tell me where we met again. Oh, Grover is like, I'm getting you, I'm getting you. Grover's really playing him well here. Grover's also seriously so smart. I don't totally get what his angle here is or what he's trying to find out or what he's trying to get him to do, but Grover's so smart. Oh my God. Don't you even try to tell me not to be weird about this. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Oh my god, that's so creepy. Some machine is coming to life. It's called the Thrill Ride of Love. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? Oh no, now they have to go on a roller coaster that's all about love and falling in love. What's gonna happen? <laughs> Let's go check out the scary ghost ride. Why not? Have I ever said that Percy and Annabeth remind me so much of Stydia from Teen Wolf Styles and Lydia? Because they seriously do. They remind me so much of like a younger version of them. Because Percy is so styles. He's so sassy and sarcastic and he's like the detective and he's so brave and courageous and like he will sacrifice himself for his friends. And then Annabeth is so Lydia. Like she's so smart. She's so brilliant. She's so sassy. She's so on it all the time. She is so like to the point. She's so bold. And like their duo together, their dynamic is so perfect. Perfect. 
perfect. I love this duo. It's so crazy that it reminds me so much of Styles and Lydia from Teen Wolf when they were younger. Like that's crazy. Cause Styles and Lydia are seriously, I think my number one favorite fictional couple ever. Like I love them so much. So obviously I love the early days of Percy and Annabeth too. Why are the boats still like going? Wouldn't the boats stop if no one's at the park and it's not operational? What is love? Lady, don't hurt me. What? <laughs> This is the weirdest animation ever. So fast is this story. Oh, this is cool then. How they're telling this story. She said this is what the gods are like to each other. Oh, oh wow. Why didn't you want to say that just now? Because he didn't want to offend you. You're part of the family. She was trying to keep me away from you guys. Oh, wow. Maybe she should have been preparing me better. Maybe she was preparing you. So when you got to us, you be different than this. Yes, Annabeth. Yes, Annabeth. Oh, I love that Annabeth is starting to like get on Percy's side with this. Obviously, I think that Athena betraying her kind of like was the turning point with that. But I love that Annabeth is getting on Percy's side with like, I don't want to be like the gods. And like maybe Percy's right a little bit that maybe people who love you don't treat you like this and you don't have to earn their respect and earn the glory to get their attention. I love that Annabeth defended Sally Jackson to Percy. See? Like, that's a twist. That's so cool. I cannot wait for Annabeth to meet Sally Jackson. Does she meet her? Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. But I, I cannot wait to find out because they are going to be so sweet. Oh my gosh. Tell me that Sally hugs Annabeth. Oh my God. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. But ah! <laughs> I really hope that happens. I really hope that they meet and that Percy like introduces Annabeth to Sally. Oh my God. That would be so cute. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. Oh God. Oh my gosh, where are they going? Can you imagine being on this filming day? And they're like, okay, so we're just gonna have you like go down a roller coaster like 50 million times and it's gonna, and you're gonna scream and it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> and you're like, okay, let's go. <laughs> and that's your work day, just like going on a roller coaster over and over and over again. There it is, Aries shield. There's a hog on it. Is that Aries' symbol? Uh oh, you don't want that. You don't want that. Yeah, jump immediately. Swim. Does she know how to swim? Of course she knows how to swim. She's an amazing fighter. Oh no, maybe she doesn't know how to swim. Percy, save her. Oh, he can't get to her. Is he learning how to use his water powers? Oh my God. Wait, what? Oh my God, what happened? Did he just save her with his water powers? Did you just pull me out of there with that water power stuff? <laughs> Figuring this out as I go. Yeah, really. I'm so mad that they didn't show us that. I wanted to see him save her with his water powers. That would have been so cool. Don't they have like a huge budget for this? I wanted to see her, his like water power save her and then like get onto the platform. That would have been so cool. I wanted to see that. How are we supposed to get that thing down? Can't you just climb up there and like pull it down? <laughs> These things are connected somehow. I love seeing her think. It's so cool. I hate kids. All of them. I hate my own kids. <laughs> Grover's was like, yeah, me too. <laughs> Since one of those kids somehow walked off with the Master Wolf. Oh, Grover thinks that Ares knows who the lightning thief is. Oh, that's what he's trying to get out of him. And he's doing a good job so far. Always making things more complicated than they need to be. So people will think she's smarter than you. I really love how Grover's playing detective here. I really love how at the beginning of the episode, Percy was like, we're gonna have to play detectives too. And Grover's like really doing it. He's really doing a good job playing detective here. And I love it. Cause Grover so far has been like the goofy, silly one, but he's being like the smart, the clever one. And I love it. Like you being the one to find the lightning thief and not her. <laughs> but as soon as she sat in it, she couldn't get up. The chair is the bargain. Wait, so one of them has to sit in it? One of them has to sacrifice themselves for it. Oh no, okay. no. What? Wait a minute. What? Something goes in isn't coming out. That seems pretty clear. I know, that's why oh. I said wait. This isn't the arc <laughs> seaweed brain. You're not pushing me into the stairwell again. Yes, I am. I'm not gonna let yes, you Yes, I time. am. I won't let you this time. Oh my gosh. Every single sentence of that interaction was so good. First of all, I love that Annabeth was like, I'll do it. Cause she's just a warrior and she was ready to sacrifice herself for Percy. Like he sacrificed himself for her in the last episode. And I love that he was like, wait, wait a second. I was explaining it to you. I wasn't telling you to go sit in the chair. Did she call him seaweed brain? <laughs> 
right? I don't know if that's weird or cute. It's probably cute. Is that in the box? Because that's adorable. The fact that she said, I'm not going to let you this time. Like, I'm not going to let you sacrifice yourself again this time. I love that. When I was choosing my team, I told Chiron I needed someone who wouldn't hesitate to sacrifice me if the quest required it. Oh, no. I love how this show takes all of these hilarious moments from the early episodes and they bring them back in these really tragic, really sad parallel ways. And how sad is this for Annabeth that this is the way that people see her as someone who would just like throw someone under the bus so that she can go make the powerful winning move? I can't believe it, but the fates were right. Okay, wait, so one of them actually has to die. Obviously, they're not gonna die. But one of them thinks that they're actually going to die? No, this is so sad. What could it possibly be about if it isn't about that? You're better at this than me. Oh. You just are. You just are. And you know it. Moment of appreciation for their acting oh my god look at them look at them they are incredible they are telling the story so well normally when people like in tv shows they're like no i'll sacrifice myself for you i'll sacrifice myself for you and uh it's so cringy normally, but this is like so sad and powerful. Like the writing and the acting is so good. No, he's actually giving it to her this time. Oh, this time it's not a trick. This time he's actually giving her the sword so that she can go on and fight. Oh my God. They think this is the last time that they're ever gonna see each other. Annabeth, I want you to like, Push him out of the way and sit in the chair. I'm not leaving the underworld without your mom. Oh, good for you, Annabeth. Maybe swing back here and try to get me out of this thing. The way that they're crying. You think you had to ask? <laughs> Just making sure. Just making sure. Oh my God. The way that they're crying because they actually think that this is the last time that they're going to see each other. Like Annabeth actually thinks that she's going to go on the quest without him. I love that she said that she's not coming out of the underworld without his mom because like you know that before Percy came along she was like the quest is the most important thing. Like whatever the quest is like that's the goal. Like that's the number one priority. But because of Percy she's like I'm not leaving without your mom. I love how they're changing each other for the better. It's so good. Oh no 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 do it don't do it don't no like get up get up oh my god i'm confused on what's supposed to happen does he just like get stuck there oh it traps him with gold this is a bad idea stand up oh the instant regret when she sees that it's happening oh in a bed i'm okay i'm okay i'm okay i'm okay oh my god the way that Oh my god! The way that he said I'm okay, he thinks that he's actually dying or gonna be stuck there for all of eternity and his last words to her are I'm okay to reassure her and make her feel better. Oh my god! The way that she instantly regretted it and was like this is a bad idea, stand up right now, stand up right now and he couldn't and he was like and he he didn't have that same regret like she was like get up right now and he was like it's okay. Oh my god because he knew that she was gonna go on and save his mom and she he he knew that she was gonna be okay the way that he kept saying i'm okay and then he just said i'm and then it was over oh my god this is a roller coaster <laughs> that's so sad that's so sad how is she supposed to get out of there though come on annabeth you can figure this out if there is anybody who can figure this machine out it's her Oh, yes, Annabeth. The shot of her feet walking around the shield that she needs for the quest and just going immediately to the machine to try to get Percy out. That shot is so good. That shot was so good. She's like, the quest does not matter anymore. All that matters is Percy. Like all that matters is my friend right now. Annabeth, Annabeth, you better figure this out. You better figure this out. Come on, Annabeth, figure it out, figure it out, girl. Oh, she's trying so hard. I'm not leaving here without my friend. And if you are going to oh. help, could you maybe leave me alone? Could you shut up? I am not someone who will be pushed around. Neither is Annabeth. You walk out of here with that shield. Oh, the sword is out. The pen turned into a sword. Is she going to kill him? And that's how she saves Percy? As it should be. It isn't how it should be. Oh. Power and glory and nothing else matters. My mother 
is that way. He isn't that way. Oh. I don't want to be that way anymore. Oh my god. Yes, I know that. Oh wow. Is this a test like at the beginning whenever they first went in? This is a test, right? That is so powerful that Annabeth has thought this way her entire life. Even at the beginning of the last episode, she was like, you earn what you get and you earn their love and you earn their respect. And like, and Percy was like, that's not how it's supposed to be. And she was like, well, it's the way it is. And now she's like, it's not the way it should be. And I love this character development for her. It's so fast and I love it. It was a test. Yay! Wait, was he like aware that entire time? Could he hear all that? Could he hear all that? Oh! Some of us don't like being that way either. That was it. That was all they had to do was say that they didn't want to be that way and say that they didn't want to leave without their friend. Literally, like they said, these gods tried for weeks to get people out of there and they tried to use their power. But Annabeth did what they all couldn't. That's so good. Once again, they're just like Stidia. Did you see her holding his arm? Also, of course, he's just like Styles because he wears like the plaid, the flannel shirts. I love that. Just like Styles. But when Percy stood up, Annabeth caught him and she was like holding onto his arm. And that reminded me so much of that icon iconic scene in the snow in the school in season three and she's like holding on to him i don't know like they just remind me of each other and i love it oh my god that was such a good scene is it done <laughs> oh my god the way that annabeth walks in with the shield, the giant shield, that's like almost her size. Aries totally did not expect them to be able to get the shield back, especially both of them together. They both walked back into the diner and she has the shield. These kids are unstoppable. <laughs> She just throws the shield on the table in front of him and doesn't say a word. That is a power move. I love this. But in a few hours, this thing is going to be at the Lotus Casino in Vegas. Hermes hangs out there. Oh my gosh. Is the next episode the Vegas episode? Oh my gosh. The only thing that I know about Percy Jackson is when I watched the original movie when I was like 10 years old and all I remembered was Medusa and something about a Vegas scene. That's all I remembered. But I remembered loving the Vegas scene. So is the next episode the Vegas episode? Oh, that's so exciting. And Hermes, isn't that Lin-Manuel Miranda? Oh my God. Is he in the next episode? You think you know who I am, but you don't. Yes, Percy. If you aren't careful. You're gonna... You're gonna find out. You're gonna find out! <laughs> oh my god, that was good. Percy's like, I am done. I am done with y'all. This is over. Her sassy has no chill. <laughs> How do you know? Because I think I got it out of him. Oh my god. I know who stole the Master Bowl. Oh my god! <laughs> Did Grover, of all people, seriously outsmart Ares and find out who stole the Master Bolt? Oh, I love that. Is that the real lightning thief? Because if so, I love that Grover's the one who figured it out. I love that. I love that. <laughs> oh my God, that was such a good episode. That was so good. That was so like emotional and moving. With Annabeth's monologue about not wanting to be like the other gods and wanting to change and wanting to be more like Percy. <gasps> I love that. Oh my God. That was beautiful. <laughs> I love that Percy was like, I'm okay. I'm okay. It's okay. And then she instantly just like walked right past the shield and started immediately trying to get Percy out of it. She was like, priorities. <laughs> she has her priorities straight and I love it. I love Grover playing detective so much and I love Percy and Annabeth going off on their own. That was adorable. That was a cute way to be like, they, they're also like a duo. They're a little bit of a duo. I love how they're all a duo. Like they all connect in different ways. So it's not like there's one person out. Like Grover is out in like the romantic area. Like Percy and Grover are best friends and Grover was Annabeth's satyr first. So like, I love that they're all connected. Oh my God, that was so good. <laughs> I still think episode four is my favorite of season one, but that was probably my second favorite episode of season one. That was so beautiful and awesome. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, definitely check out my reactions to Percy Jackson episode one, two, three, and four. If you haven't already, they were so fun. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you know as soon as I upload my reaction to Percy Jackson episode 6. Remember to 
to like this video and comment all of your thoughts on Percy Jackson episode five. Check out my merchandise shop called We Could Be Heroes Designs at the link in the description below if you love heroic merch inspired by the fictional worlds of Marvel, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Teen Wolf, Outer Banks, Percy Jackson, and more. Be sure to follow me on social media at We Could Be Heroes Designs so that we can fangirl over Percy Jackson together all the time. The show is seriously so incredible and it literally gets better every episode, so I cannot wait to see what happens next and I will see you in my next episode.